Hey everybody, it's Mark from the Geek Church, and today it's Dash Camp Day. Next base, we've actually reviewed their products before. In fact, I reviewed this product before. However, this is back before I was doing videos. So you're probably wondering, why am I doing another review of it? Because I can do videos now, and we definitely want to show you an unboxing of this, as well as some live footage. Well, maybe not live, it'll look live. Uh, footage caught on this particular dash cam, the 522GW. Coming up. All right, so let's get to the unboxing of this. Hmm. Okay, yeah, normally I don't even take the plastic off. I'm actually kind of doing something different. Normally, like when I do these unboxing, I actually unboxed it already before and reboxed it. And so I could write the article on it before I do the video because that's my process. But doing something a little bit different this time. Right. Well, we have a lot of plastic on here today, don't we? All right, now let's see what's in it here. Yeah, we got some tape on the box because of course we do. Shabing! Now we can finally get the unboxing. Okay. So let's see here. Hmm. I can see that this has the particular thing that I've seen before. I usually get something like this, some sort of warning or something like that. Thank you card. Hey, congratulations on your purchase. Mm -hmm. And of course, a little quick start guide. Those always come in handy. What else is in here? Well, let's get to the camera itself. Um, I'll just take it out of the plastic here so you can see what's up with it. And as you can see, it's kind of an interesting little guy here. Got a good lens on there. Let's um, so get rid of some of this stuff on it. And hmm, I wonder what this could be. Now, this little shield for the touch screen. I won't power it up now because I have a hunch that uh, there's probably no battery life in it. But I'm just looking at it here. That looks like a... Oh, maybe it does. Actually, it doesn't. Uh, oh, there's a power button here. Let's see if it's... Uh, I think... Nah, it looks like I gotta charge this guy. But how do I charge him, I wonder? I wonder myself. There's also this thing. What is this for? Where's it? Oh, hey! This must be a battery of some type? I don't know, but it's got a place for something here. Look at that. See that, that little thing? You know, this thing just kind of snaps right in there. Maybe you couldn't see that very well, but uh, yeah, maybe I can give you a close look for it. Okay, see that? It just kind of pops out and pops right back in there. So, all right, let's see what else is in here. This stuff is covered with this. Some sort of accessories, perhaps? Oh, yeah, definitely need some accessories. This definitely looks like... Oh, I think I know what this is. All right, okay. I can... I'm smart enough to figure this out, but um, this is probably the stand for it. See this 3M adhesive there? Uh, this probably peels off. Put that on our car a little later. But, oh, I see. That's sort of the mounting spot for that. Look at that, that just locked back on there. I didn't even try. Hey, just to let you know, uh, once this thing's locked on, it really takes, uh... okay. That one came off a little easier, but I was struggling the first time I did that. So I'm getting this. I believe this is our uh, charging cord uh, for this. And as I suspected, ah, yes. It's all wrapped up. Nice. Uh, hang on a second. Why am I getting a... Please charge this dash cam for at least two hours before use. All right, I guess I better do that. Uh, shucks. Ooh, man. Am I going to have to charge it in the charger? Oh, wait. Oh, hang on a second. There should be some kind of this thing. Yeah. Ah, okay. All right, this looks like a charging cord for a USB, and I'm going to be doing that uh, before I do that. So, yeah. Okay, uh, except for this, this appears to be some sort of, well, maybe this is the tool you're supposed to use to take off this thing. I should probably check out the instructions on this. Uh, just to let you know, this camera does require a memory card, and the company was nice enough to send me one. I got it right here. And, uh, but I'm told that they should be able to take everyone, but they ideally want their next base 
uh, memory cards. Uh, I'm going to try it with an ordinary memory card and see if it works. Um, in that case, I think we're going to take this show on the road. Okay, I just realized I needed to charge this thing, so I'm here at my desk and I just plugged it in. It's asked me to select language and all right. So okay, all right. First time installation. Dash game for speed gets. Okay, first time need to. Okay. Oh, I say. Does it... Oh yeah. Okay, it knows it because it's in blue and the others are in white. Sorry. Quite catch that first. Region, I'm in Pacific. So Central Mountain Pacific. Speed units. Really? I mean, I would think that. You know, you would think that uh, since I'm in the United States, it would know that I wouldn't want kilometers per hour, but who knows? All right, we got it. Date and time setup. Automatically. Date and time. Enable Alexa. Uh, we'll just skip that for now. Okay, so we can check this out. And hey, okay, I'm starting to see the stuff that's behind me, as you can see. All right. All right, I'll have to, I want to charge this for a little while longer, then I'll put it in my car, and then we'll go from there. I think it was recording. I think it's recording now. What is happening right now? With the oh, so that's a dash cam I'm testing out. So I'm yeah, just making sure we're getting good night footage. I think we had something like that. Yeah, we did. Is this like a new version or version? Um, I've actually tested this one before, but uh, I didn't exactly get good footage of it because back then I wasn't doing video reviews. footage there and you can see that the uh, camera works really well and has some good footage for the road which you might need. Now this thing uh, costs you about $239.99 or at least that's the current price that I'm seeing on the site right now and I didn't really get into some of the other features of it but I want to read them off to you right now. First of all it has an intelligent parking mode. It'll automatically sense any bump or physical movement in the vehicle's stationary and prompts your next space uh, dash cam to record. Uh, I didn't really get a good... probably could have tested that out somehow. Whoops. I also forgot that you can download and share the footage. So, yeah. Where do you think I got that footage from? Yeah, I actually got it from the card, but uh, it is available to do that. Also available, Bluetooth Low Energy. So it'll automatically send crash footage directly to your Bluetooth-enabled smartphone tablet. That's pretty good. Honestly, I don't know if I should have tested it out by crashing my car, but hey, I just, you need to know it's there. Anyway, you can check out this, um, an article we've written about this on our website, and please do. Until then, this has been Mark Rollins from the Geek Church, and I'm signing off.